up the stream real quick. I'll give a little tour of my island here. Uh, so I only have I think it's six villagers now. Or hold on, there's a map. I forget how to get to it. There it is. Uh, I realize my little camera there's covering it, but basically I've got. I have seven villagers living on my island. Uh, my eighth is going to move in. It's going to be Pinky. And then I think what I'm going to try and do on this stream is... Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to put down all of the plots I need, but I would like to uh, try and hunt down my ninth villager. Uh, and also just clean it up a little because I know I need to put up a lot of decorations because I'm still trying to get KK to come visit. Uh, I started playing not too long ago. I'm a bit behind where I think a lot of people probably are who are playing the game at this point. But let me chop, let's chop down trees. Uh, I don't know if I've caught a butterfly fish. Thank you. 
other than continuing to block like everything that's on screen, I'm gonna move my camera and everything. Still readable. And if you're watching the stream, you can tell me if you can't read my Twitter handle. Uh, where was I? Oh yeah. Uh, let's try. And I think uh, I've got a plot of land I need to set up. Uh, but that's a spoiled target. Oh. oh, I was not ready for that. <laughs> uh, I'm not used to tarantulas spawning on my island. Okay, I got ants. We're gonna donate that ant to Blathers. Before I forget. get one was to buy a bunch of turnips and then wait a week. Now we can toss that. I assume they're worth no money once they spoil, so no reason to hold on to them. Now let's find the space for this uh, plot of land. Uh, this is my little flower garden kind of thing. to sell. be a good spot. Let's see what this looks like.
some mystery islands and see if we can find who that new villager is going to be. Uh, I have kind of a list in my head of a bunch of villagers I would like to move in, but I'm not, I'm not like a huge Animal Crossing fan. I haven't actually played any before this game, but I'm really liking this game. So I don't have any particular attachment to any. There are just some that I think we would feel. How does the game sound compared to my voice, by the way? Uh, I just want to be making sure uh, audio levels are coming in okay. Always talking about muscles. What a good dude. Yeah, I just got the tailor shop built. Uh, it just finished building today. I should say. Uh, oh yeah, I also have a lot of Easter stuff still up uh, in my house because I built all of that and I didn't like it, but I'm gonna I'm gonna show it off. I put in the work for that. Sell that for a month later. For the tarantula is going to sell for way more, but hermit crabs I think are a solid source of money that you don't uh, you don't have to deal with it biting you over and over again. And, uh, I know some of this I'm probably just bad at catching tarantulas, but. I did what I needed to do. I got the one for bladders and now I got this one just on like, random chance. So let's sell a bunch of this stuff. Um, you know, I keep moving my little camera box around. Oops. But... Let's go with that. 
Can I consume my bells and I can consume my nook miles when I get those? Okay, let's sell clams, tarantula. I know I could probably get some money if I crafted that boot into something, but I I don't have any particular use for it, so I'm just gonna sell it. Sell a hot item. A completing DIY project is actually going to be a pretty easy one because I have kind of plans for my town that I want to build something in this kind of space I cleared out. Like a little marketplace or some kind of like outside picnic area thing. Uh, I kind of wanted to wait until I got paths, but I think to get those, you have to have KK visit. So maybe I'd rather uh, kind of do it in pieces, like I'll do the parts that I don't need KK to visit for first, and then I can deal with the rest later. Just put in the money to have that last thing put down. I thought you could only do one. Maybe. Oh no, I can't just put down the last one. sort of envisioning for this sort of picnic area is I want to use this imperial fence just because I like it. Uh, maybe I'll like fence in the area a little and then do uh, I think I think the log dining tables with log stools sounds cool and if I don't like it I can change it. And then I did buy the recipe for the wooden stalls. So maybe I'll set those up too. Maybe I'll do like two stalls and then like four sets of tables with chairs. And here's all the bunny day stuff. I didn't craft the wand because I haven't been getting shooting stars, uh, but gonna do that eventually because I want to complete the set there. Of 
this property. Honestly, once Pinky moves in, I might even move this house over a bit because this one might block it. Easy 200 for talking to neighbors. So maybe I'll do that once we build this thing. we had something like the designer road indoors also in these kind of outdoor spaces just because everything's so grid based but it's hard to move kind of cleanly on the grid all right so that's our last part of the land side, which is nice so now uh, let's get those kind of Maybe he's on. I don't know if I've talked to Poppy today. Hey. We're getting dirty decorations. And I'm just going to ignore the part where he talked about the bugs in his floor talking to him. Uh, Poppy's weird, y'all. I think... I think I still want to try and get as many villagers I sort of really want to have. Like, I've got those two open plots still. Uh, I think I'm going to try and get villagers I really want for those. But I might, I might try and get Poppy to move out so I can replace him with someone cooler and not just wildly weird. Fish, uh, work on crafting, uh, what I was kind of talking about earlier, that little, like, kind of shopping center area. Uh, you know what, I'll just use Tom Nook's crafting table since it's, it's like five feet closer than my house, but why not? hope I have enough. I'm gonna guess, yeah, okay. I'm gonna go grab stuff from my house and do the crafting there. Uh, I think that makes more sense. And you 
you're also going to get to see my house here. Uh, so I'll give you a quick tour of my house first. Why not? So this is my record player with no songs. Uh, th that's my jukebox with no songs. Uh, this is my guitar. Come on. Five. Uh, this is my laundry area that's on the floor. Uh, this is where I use my switch mostly. My little bedroom kind of area. And a little kind of kitchen zone. And this... This is the bunny room. We're not going to talk about the bunny room. This is all you're going to see of the bunny room. Now let's get what I came here for. I should learn that. Let's grab. I've also got so many, like, other just things. I could probably redecorate that second, uh, that second room that we otherwise will not refer to. Uh, I could probably, like, make an actual room with a lot of the stuff I have, but I don't really have any big ideas for how I want that space to look yet. I think I want to craft a lot more stuff. In the meantime, let's see, where are my resources? Here they are. Let's see, since we're going to be doing, uh, I probably should have checked what the recipes call for. I'm going to guess a lot of wood. So let's. I might even grab two stacks of all my wood, just to have it. And let's go craft some stuff. do what I'm trying to do right now, but uh, I'm still kind of new at this Twitch thing. So, uh, if anything doesn't sound right or looks funky, uh, let me know and I'll try my best to fix it, I say, as I adjust my camera, because it's off-center now. It might still be off-center. I'm making things worse. I'm just gonna stop touching it. I should just stop touching it. Okay. So let's craft. I'm thinking I want four dining tables. For what I'm building. stool actually also uses yeah it also uses hardwood so we might be doing some uh, tree chopping too later and then I think I'll have two stuff. nook miles for all that crafting we just did. Ooh. Okay, so let's let's go place all of this stuff kind of vaguely how I want it. I'm thinking I mean I'm probably gonna have to track 
smash that rock anyway. But I'll leave it there, at least while I'm doing this initial kind of spaces away and where's my other stall is it gonna be Let's do that. We need to chop some trees anyway. Okay, let's chop. Um, I'm gonna shake all these trees first. Check for bees. Island has more peach trees than I kind of know what to do with. Uh, I don't think wasps can come out of the fruit trees, but it does hard to check. That's what I did. A slider, uh, the dog who plays the guitar. Uh, how's everything sounding in this room? Is the game too loud? Am I too quiet? Yeah, you do need to get KK for terraforming, so that's kind of why I'm, 
I'm trying to power through and get to that. Cause, uh, there are a lot of things I want to... Uh, let me turn myself up then. Be a little bit of feedback while I'm cranking this up. Ooh. Okay, how's that sound? Uh, hopefully a little better. Okay, um, trying to angle this so that I can be closer to the mic and not off camera here. Um, how's this sound? Uh, I have all these audio issues figured out for my Wednesday streams, but I decided, maybe foolishly, to completely change how I set everything up for Animal Crossing. And uh, I don't know that that was the best choice. Uh, and uh, thank you, Mark, for the follow. Okay, so let's set up these stalls. there to be some space to stand in front of the stall and then those stools I want to build at the table. So let me make sure I've left enough space. Uh, I don't remember how the game tells you. I read online you need to have a three-star island, uh, which Isabel decides, and kind of the way you do that is just uh, get a full island of 10 villagers and then build outdoor decorations. Uh, I'm kind of trying to do, let's see, can I just push this one space? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to try and knock out, uh, I already have eight villagers, I'm going to try and knock out my last two on this stream here if I can. And uh, I'm also working on this little, I don't know what I'm going to call it, like a shopping center, cafe kind of area. Let's see, is that... I should probably have that. Because there should be enough space to s kind of walk between the tables. villagers is too bad all things considered uh it ends up being i think i spent like about fifty thousand bells to get all of the plots they're ten thousand each uh, they give you your first one for free though uh i don't think you count let me look at it whoops not my friends list my map Uh, actually, maybe you do, or, hold on, 
let me do the math here because I have seven already moved in one is moving in tomorrow and then I just put down two empty plots so you don't count uh, it has to be 10 uh, non shop owning villagers okay so let me get this balloon enough for Nook Miles ticket. So let's see who I can get if I go to a mystery island. Let me also catch this bug. The other nice thing is now that I've put down all those plots, I can start putting the rest of the bells I've been making towards paying off my most recent house upgrade. Alright, let's see what this mystery island is going to be. Uh, maybe I'll get really lucky and this will be a tarantula island and I can do that and get a village friend. Uh, I see trees in the background, so it's probably not tarantulas. So let's see. I'm just going to grab all these weeds, because I'm trying to get uh, the kind of achievement for selling a ton of weeds. I'm supposed to grab all these cherries, as long as I'm here. Those are going to sell for a lot. Yeah, I guess I could... Uh, I could make the Tarantula Island. Yeah. get everything I need off this island and then I'll kind of strip it for parts and see how much space I have left over for tarantulas. Uh, I'm not too concerned about money. Uh, I mean catching a bunch of tarantulas and selling them for money would help, but I don't have any huge 
expenses that I'm too worried about paying off. Uh, I forget if there's another house upgrade after the one I just did. Uh, there might be, but I'm not too far from paying it off. not show up on these mystery islands at night? That might be a thing that I didn't know until now. But I don't see one walking around here, unless he's somewhere else on the island that I don't see. Hi Jason, welcome to the stream. Uh, why are you sad, Jason? show up at the campsites and they do spawn during the daytime. Uh, I just wonder if maybe... I've never tried to grab villagers at night from Mystery Island, so I don't know. Maybe they don't show up. Maybe I just got unlucky. Uh, Yeah, uh, so what's going to happen uh, is you'll build the campsite, and then I think if you wait a day or two, something like that, uh, a random villager will show up at the campsite, and uh, you're going to have to kind of let that one move in, so hopefully it's one you like, if you care about which villagers you get. Um, so that'll probably be, I think at that point in the game, it's your four villager and then after that you'll be able to uh, build plots regularly and then you can get villagers from either the mystery islands or the campsite uh, there is a villager at my campsite right now but uh, I've got kind of a couple villagers I'm thinking I'd like to try and get to show up on my island so I'm trying to go kind of the long way and do these mystery islands and get them. Although, if they aren't showing up here at night, that's gonna make it harder. Let's chop down all these trees and then kind of see where that leaves us space wise. If there's a ton of space left, I'll probably stay and hunt tarantulas, otherwise, I might just go back.
kind of... I think I'll chop down all the trees, but I might not stay to farm tarantulas. I probably, if I were thinking smarter, I would have put all my stuff away before I came here. Or maybe I will just... I can throw out these peaches. Maybe I will do... Uh, look for some tarantulas. Right. Uh, you can't... Okay, I'm just gonna drop that. Uh, I think plucking all the flowers, you need to do two to get the tarantulas to show up. Uh, or at least, I did it once before, and that was how I kinda had luck with it. Because otherwise all the regular flower uh, bugs spawn. tree chopping axe on my favorite's wheel, but um, I don't know. Maybe I would take off the watering can because I kind of only use that once a day. I think I'm going to do that. isn't gonna break. I don't remember the last time. I don't remember when I crafted this. So that could be an issue. Just drop that for now. Uh, er, I think I am gonna go ahead and go back. Uh, it's a little frustrating that they don't 
seem to spawn <laughs> villagers <laughs> here at time? <laughs> Miss the friends notification there. I don't know why it gives you like I know it gives me the notification every time one of my Switch friends comes online, but uh, I haven't visited their island in Animal Crossing yet, so I don't. I kind of don't know why that happens. Actually be enough to pay off my house and it definitely earned me some miles which is nice already, so I don't think I'm too far from being able to. Oh, never mind. Uh, actually, if we deposit full amount here, I can pay off my house. see what Nook has to say about that, because I actually don't know when the housing upgrades stop. I would like to discuss details of more construction. my roof is red and I'm kind of fine with that. I don't think I want to change it. And then there was something else I was going to do and I totally blanked. Uh... Right, I was going to finish constructing my little sort of picnic -y area over here. So let's build some stools. Uh, yeah. Build 
some stones. Not shovel my table. Ooh, I kind of like how the deer decoration looks. Uh, that might be something I build just for my house. Uh, but what was I going to say? Oh yeah, log stools. I think we need four per table, so that's going to be 16 log stools. That's a lot of log stools. gave me a lucky cat earlier too. Maybe I'll find a place for that somewhere. gonna be I wonder if it would be better to do kind of six stools instead of four we'll start with four and go from there because that's a lot of wood Honestly, I'm probably making more work for myself by not just picking it up and doing that, yeah. Come on. Oh. I wish the uh, placement system was a little bit better. Uh, but we're going to work with it. That's just how we're going to do it. We're going to roll with it. Too close. I'm too close. Too close. You know what? I'm gonna just back up that bit more. And hope. Finally, we placed a log stool. So that's one table done. Um, let's chop some trees. stack in my house, but I know I'm going to need more anyway from out here. So let's just do this. Uh, oh, come on. I should be checking the trees. That was not good of me. Okay. Let's do this the smart way now actually check these trees. Uh, I 
think I shook some of these earlier, but I don't remember which ones. So we're just gonna check them all. There we go. I've already hit. There we go. I'm burning so many extra hits of this axe by hitting trees I'm I've already done. Shooting stars tonight. I'd like to. I'd like to finally get some star fragments, but I don't think that will happen. Is there, so I'm just gonna kind of roll with it, I think. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'll buy some medicine. Uh, or maybe I have some crafted. There was a while there where I was crafting medicine. Right, storage is here. I have one star fragment that uh, a friend of mine gave me. But I've found, I've found none of my own kinda. Efforts. Maybe I don't have medicine. I thought I did. Maybe I don't. Yep, guess I don't. Uh, let's go buy some. I don't think there's any real purpose to it, but eh, what do I know? Right, I have no money, because I just gave it all to Tom Nook. So we won't buy medicine. I'm just gonna deal with it. Uh, I could sell stuff. I could sell the wasps. I actually don't do that. Uh, if I'm gonna keep chopping trees, I think I'd rather not deal with the inconvenience of passing out. So what's the hot item? That's some, some easy enough miles I could get. 
Wooden tables, alright. Uh, the low wooden tables, not the tables I just spent so much of my wood crafting. Let's see here. I may as well sell the nests too. It's not like I need those for anything. Hey, Rust is Perfection. Welcome to the stream. this wasp sting. Uh, so I started playing, uh, let's see. Uh, time has been real weird since all these quarantines started, but uh, I started playing, I wanna say the week before Easter. Yeah, I think that sounds right. Yeah, the week before Easter, because I had about two weeks to get all of the Easter stuff done. So I've been, I've been playing since, let's see, two weeks before Easter, I mean, I've been playing for like, like, this is my third week, I think, in game, for playing the game. But yeah. Uh, and as for the stream, it's been going for a little over an hour. And this has actually been going really well, I think. Uh, this is getting a lot more traction than my Wednesday streams, which uh, I will plug if anybody watching is a fan of uh, the Persona series. Uh, my Wednesday stream is I'm playing through all of them from one through to five. And what I'm planning to do is once I finally get to five, I'm gonna try and do as blind a playthrough as I can at that point of uh, Royal that just came out. So if that's something that interests you, those are on Wednesday. And Animal Crossing is every Monday. Uh, 7 p.m. Central, adjust appropriately to whatever your time zone is. And follow me on Twitter, because I tweet out every stream right before I go live, and if I remember to do it in the morning uh, beforehand. making some log stools. Yeah, I I will not uh, butcher the music of Persona with my singing voice, but I love I love the music in every game. I think even three, like it sounds a little cheesy, but I like it anyway. Or like if you play it now, there's something like very like old school, like like late '90s, early 2000s, like hip, like pop, hip hop kind of stuff that isn't. It doesn't sound like good, but it's fun. I highly recommend. I'd say I recommend. If you want to get into the Persona series, I think five is a good place to start. Some fans of the series might disagree with that uh, because it does kind of break with the conventions of the series but I think it does that to like minimize things like grinding and stuff that can be off-putting and then if you like it kind of work your way backwards through the series like Yeah, I mean, Persona is, if you've played or heard of Final Fantasy, Persona is kind of like, it's not like Final Fantasy in theme, maybe, but it's kind of like a blend of Final Fantasy and Pokemon's kind of gameplay style. It's hard to explain to someone who hasn't played it, which is kind of weird logic, but... 
Yeah, I think that's a pretty fair uh, description. It's a turn-based JRPG with kind of dating sim elements. Uh, I think that's true of kind of everything from Persona 3 through 5, and then the two older ones uh, are kind of more in the RPG stuff, less in the kind of dating sim aspect, but they're still good games if you like RPGs. Yeah, I mean, I recommend Persona just because I honestly think the Persona series is the best uh, RPGs that are being made, like, at least that I've played. Uh, I've, I've been told Dragon Quest is also really good, and I haven't played uh, those games, but like, if you've tried JRPGs, like, namely Final Fantasy, and that wasn't your thing, I'd recommend Persona anyway, because it does a lot of things really different, and in a way that I think is better. Persona is also like a sub-series, although some might argue that it's kind of eclipsed the main series in popularity at this point of Shin Megami Tensei, which I also recommend those games. I've only played a handful of them, but they're all really good. Uh, yeah, every Persona game except two is standalone. There are plenty of Easter eggs that connect uh, each game in the series, but none that you like, you know, if you don't know anything about the other games, like, you'll be able to still play and enjoy the core story and gameplay and characters and stuff. With the exception of two, but I don't really recommend starting with two anyway. Uh, granted, I haven't played two, but I know two is... It's... It's a more direct sequel to one than any of the other personas are direct sequels of each other. So, like there's characters from one in two, which is not usual to any of the other Persona games. Uh, but if you want to see what Persona 1 looks like, uh, I'm actually most of the way through the main story of that. Dragon Quest, it's... I don't know of any Dragon Quest MMOs. They probably exist, uh, but it's kind of, I think, more known for uh, being kind of a... It's kind of the rival, main rival to Final Fantasy, I would say. Like, like in terms of which ones... Uh, like the majority of people play, I'd say those two are more neck and neck. Uh, not the Persona isn't popular, but I think it tends to be more of like, like pe it's more of like a, at least for a while, I think it was more of a cult classic. I think you could argue since five, it's maybe been more of like a mainstream popular series. Uh, let's see, I need more hardwood to make more. Uh, ooh, I see a tarantula there. Uh, let's see if I can position my camera a bit better. Tarantulas are so scary. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh. I don't like, I don't like catching tarantulas. It probably doesn't help things that I am, uh... Okay, whew. Uh, but, uh, I don't like spiders, <laughs> so... 
Uh, these are like cartoonish enough that they don't really bother me. And even in real life, like I'm afraid of them, but I can like deal with them. It's not like it's not like a crazy fear, but I just don't like spiders. Uh, I might have like, uh, I guess like slurred my words or something there. It's just, I don't like spiders. Uh, it's one of the things I'm probably going to have to get better at as I, uh, do these streams more is I'm going to have to start learning how to uh, enunciate properly. what I was saying before the tarantula kind of uh, I stream persona every Wednesday uh, same time as this one started uh, 7 p.m. central so check those out uh, I like streaming those games uh, it's just fun and you know uh, I'm still trying to figure out like how often I should be uh, Plugging this kind of stuff, but if you like follow me on Twitch, Twitter, uh, I have a YouTube channel. It's the same uh, URL as this Twitch, uh, Vamp underscore Chinchilla, where I post all my live streams after the fact. Uh, that stuff really helps. So, you know. And uh, thank you, Rustus Perfection, for the follow. I just saw that come through as I was saying that. I've got like five stacks of branches in my house. I'm just gonna grab some. I still haven't decided if it would look better if I put stools on the ends of the tables too, or if just the floor here is enough. I think I'll, maybe what I'll do is I'll craft my next set, and before I put them in front of the table where I want them. Uh, no, uh, I originally played it on PS3, but I'm probably gonna get Royal for PS4, and then I have a capture card set up, so I can, uh, I have it connected to my Switch now, but I could, you know, set that up with my uh, 
PS4 and stream that. But yeah, Persona is... Uh, I think there's been rumors about it coming to Switch, but for now it's still uh, mainly a PlayStation franchise. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't know how far along PS3 emulation is, but you could play... Uh, if, there is an, if there is a PS3 emulator out there, you could probably uh, emulate the original on PS3. Uh, I assume PS4 emulation isn't a thing yet but I honestly don't keep track of emulators too much, uh, aside from for older systems. Uh, but that's because my computer is honestly not that powerful. Like, uh, I will say it's uh, a lot of what decides what I'm gonna stream regularly is probably gonna be, can it be streamed from a console or is it like a weak enough game that my computer could handle it and streaming at the same time? But uh, uh, it's not really related to the Persona series, but uh, Catherine, uh, another game made by the same company that's kind of a puzzle platformer kind of game is on Steam and that one's supposed to be really good. Uh, I haven't played it, but maybe you could check that out. Uh, what did I come here to do? Oh yeah, I was gonna craft stools. Uh, Catherine. Spelled, I think it's like the like the name Catherine. Uh, spelled with a C, I guess. I realize there's multiple ways to spell Catherine, uh, but it's kind of a puzzle platformer. I think it also has kind of dating sim elements to it, so that could be another good one to check out. Uh, I haven't played that one, but I've heard really good things. I think they just released a. They called it full body and it's like a expanded version with like a bunch of new content and a new storyline right I was gonna see if I like how these logs look on the ends here Uh, yeah, that's the classic version, and then there's another version called Full Body, I think, which is just the same uh, same name, but it's uh, Full Body. Or maybe that's not on Steam yet. Maybe that's PS4 exclusive. Uh, I'm not sure. But the classic version still has a ton of content, from what I've heard. It's kind of like a... It's hard to describe it. You're kind of like building a tower and climbing it in kind of dream sequences. Chop down a few more trees, and then I got this little sort of campsite thing built. 
or it's I shouldn't call it the campsite thing because there's an actual campsite. But uh, I don't I don't know what I'm gonna turn that into. Maybe it'll be like I'll turn the stalls into little like cafe things, and then it'll be like uh, like a little coffee shop area thing. Uh, so far, my kind of plan for the layout is this is going to be where all the kind of shopping and stuff goes, and then I've got the houses in kind of pairs all around the island. And then I've got some orchards that I have like at the very back of my island that are small now, but I might, once I get terraforming, expand out the area they're on. There we go. I'm also getting all this just kind of random furniture out of the sky. I feel like I should do something with it. Ooh, a skull tea. I got clothes. Right, I need to craft my stools before I put them down. That would help.
seen some people on like Twitter and stuff kind of customize the way these stalls look a little more, which I haven't seen. I, don't, I didn't see how to do it. But maybe that's something I'll figure out kind of between streams here. Or maybe I'll, that's something I'll do next week. Uh, let's see what else I can do. Um, I feel like I should put something on the little stalls there, but I don't know what. Uh, this accessory stand could be something. I think I'll just kind of take stuff and see how it looks when I put it there. Yeah, maybe we'll do like an accessory stand and uh, I'll have to see what the Nook Shop is selling. Maybe there's something that I can work with. Yeah, I think I like how that looks. I think I like how that looks. sisters will close in like a little under 30 minutes so I should see if there's anything I want in here bought the cowboy outfit before, but in the like daily items. So let's suppose I think about it. Oh yeah, I was gonna look at the nook shop. So let's see, maybe we want to, let's see, I have all this other stuff. Maybe something here is good. I don't know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll redecorate my home here and then maybe after I redecorate here, I might wrap things up. I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else there is to do. Uh, let's start by putting all this stuff in storage because I'd rather... I'd rather pull things out of storage and place them than... inventory. Put the softwood there. 
Uh, wood, beer, and I've already got a stack of 30 stones, but I'll keep that little stack of two there for now. And I don't really care about the rest. Let me see. Let me see what in storage I might think about using. Um, I've got a lot of stuff here, but I don't know what I want to actually put somewhere. I think maybe we'll put the uh, clock on the walls so I have more stuff on my walls. Like, let's put it there. Uh, and then honestly, I kind of don't know what I want to put where. Uh, let's just deal with that for now. You can find versions. Uh, there are versions of Persona 5 that are cheaper. Like, uh, like if you want to just get regular Persona 5, not Royal, I think it's like, like it's probably still 60 bucks, but that's still like pretty standard for a new game. Uh, you might be able to find the PS3 version pretty cheap, although again, that's, uh, uh, what should we call it? Uh, the PS3 version is probably cheaper at this point, where you can find used copies very cheap. Uh, but you're playing it on the PS3 at that point. And I know you said you don't have any systems, but... I think I'd be willing for... Uh, I haven't bought it yet, but I think I would be willing to pay the, like, kind of full, full price for Royal. As much as I kind of don't like the way Atlas has kind of started uh, pricing Persona, in particular 5, I feel like they've kind of, uh, they've made a lot more DLC and kind of extra stuff you have to pay more for than they have traditionally with their other games. Uh, I don't really mind the uh, idea of a re-release in the form of Royal like they've done, because they've done that with other games and that ends up being the other Persona games and those usually end up being the definitive versions. Uh, but there's a lot of DLC that was in uh, the original version of 5 that doesn't come with Royal, which I feel like it should. And there's tons of new DLC that they're releasing with Royal, and it's all like cosmetic and stuff, but it, I think it's still... Like, I still like the games, I'm still gonna play it, I'm still gonna enjoy it, but I'm probably not gonna buy all that extra DLC. Uh, let's see. Let's see, maybe there's some Nook Miles stuff I can get done before I sign off here. Um, if I catch five fish. Yeah, all of that Atlas's games kind of have that anime aesthetic. Uh, 
or at least all of their recent ones. Uh, I will say some of their older ones maybe don't as much, but I think that's more limitation of the technology than anything in particular. Like uh, Persona 3, or at least uh, Persona 3 FES, which is one of those re-release versions I talked about, that has fully animated anime cutscenes. Uh, Persona 4 has anime cutscenes, 5 has anime cutscenes. Well, I think 5 has less of them than 4 did. I don't remember off the top of my head. Come on, fish. Yeah, I haven't played too many uh, visual novels. I've, or I've played like the ones I feel like anyone who's played a visual novel has played. Like I played uh, the Phoenix Wright series. Uh, I've played uh, the Nine Hours, Nine Persons, Nine Doors uh, trilogy. Uh, those are all really good. Or I think they're called like the Zero Escape uh, trilogy, technically. Uh, but. Uh, Zero Escape or uh, Nine Hours, Nine Persons, Nine Doors is the first one. And uh, if you haven't played that, I really recommend it. Uh, it's kind of like a series of escape room puzzles. Uh, and there's some really good... Uh, I feel like if I told you anything about the story or the setup of any of the games, it would be like not as interesting as kind of going in blind uh, nine hours nine persons nine doors if you just look up 999 like visual novel game you're probably gonna find it uh, but yeah it's a series of escape rooms and uh, the one thing I will um, or Actually, I don't think I'll even tell you that. I think it's worth going in as blind as possible. I would say do your... F play through the game completely blind and then go back and look at like a walkthrough or something to find the stuff that you missed. Or like play as blind as you can for a while and then you might need a walkthrough to get... to see everything the game has to offer. It's like one of those games where it's really easy to miss stuff.
There are also two sequels to the game. Uh, I think on Steam you can get a Nine Hours, Nine Persons, Nine Doors, and I think it's called Zero Time Dilemma is the second one. You can get those in a bundle. And then the third game in the series, or maybe the third game in the series is Zero Time Dilemma. Uh, I'm blanking on which sequel is called what, but you can get the first and second game, Nine Hours, Nine Persons, Nine Doors, and whichever one the second game is, you can get those in a bundle called the Nonary Games on Steam. And then the third game is a separate game that is still worth playing if you liked the first two, but I will say is not as good. Did all the fruit from my orchards and did I do the fishing thing? I did. So I think I'm gonna go sell everything and then maybe oh I should dig up that fossil. Yeah, um, I think the Nonary Games Bundle, it's a good enough deal because they're, like, it's, you're getting two games, kind of, I think for the price of one, I think it's $60, I don't know off the top of my head, I bought it all a while ago, so it also might be discounted from what I remember it being. And the games are pretty long, at least compared to what I would expect from a visual novel kind of story. But yeah, it you might want to wait for a sale, but uh, it's a good series. I recommend it. It looks like you, uh, 
you might be looking at just from the URL. Uh, that's the fun part of not having a great computer is uh, if I open my Chrome browser, uh, it's going to make the stream worse because my uh, CPU can't doesn't like doing game capture and streaming and a third thing uh, at the same time, at least with this uh, capture card going. Uh, but it looks like you might be looking at the, you know, like, uh, physical steelbook copy, maybe? But... I don't know. Uh, but what was I saying? Uh, I think I'm gonna craft a shovel here, but I'm kinda out of stuff to do in this game for now. And I actually haven't had dinner yet, and it's getting kinda late here. So I might go ahead and wrap this stream up. Uh, you know, follow me on uh, Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, subscribe there. Right now it's all VODs, but uh, I've been thinking about maybe starting to work on some like more scripted uploads, which I might, I might either make a second YouTube channel and link it to the Twitch one, or I'll just post them to the one my Twitch videos get uploaded to. I'm not sure. Okay, so to make a shovel, I need other stuff, so I'll do that probably tomorrow off stream. Uh, but yeah, go follow me on all of the social media stuff. Uh, I stream Persona on Wednesdays, uh, 7 p.m. Central, adjust to whatever time zone you're in otherwise. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'll, I'll be live again on Wednesday. Check me out. See you later. <laughs>